Kev with Kev's Can Cave. Appreciate you stopping by. If you've never joined us before, uh, join the club. Would like to have you. The more the merrier. Anyway, today I'm talking about eventually and I, what I do with paint when I get sick of stumbling around the gallon cans or the lid ends up getting rusty like this and the paint's still good inside. And having said that, I think we all start with good intentions that we're gonna do a neatest job as possible. But if you're like me, when I'm done painting, I'm wearing about half of it and I just wanna close that lid up and get away from it. You can take a paper towel, fold it up. And the most important thing is to keep that uh, rim area for the lid clean. Uh, Q-tip fits perfectly in there, by the way. Or you can do what a friend t told me uh, years ago, probably 30 years ago, that he liked taking a finish nail and just lightly poke little holes on each side here and there around the rim. And that way the paint, if you do get some in that troughed area of the lid, it drains back in the can and that worked pretty good. But the bottom line is you still need to clean out that rim. It's not so bad if you paint something and then you need to get back into it once or twice to touch up when the kids draw on the walls or whatever, or you chip the walls, whatever, or you patch it and you gotta paint it. That's not so bad, but in my case, I painted my workbench an Orion Gray, that's the name of it. And then I wanted to make other projects in this shop the same color, like my hose reel, battery charge station, my battery tending station for old green over the uh, tape measure corral. Anyway, I wanted everything the same color. So over this last seven years, I've been cracking into this paint can and apparently not doing a very good job, but getting it to seal decent enough where it didn't mold up. But eventually it kind of starts looking like this. And then you make the decision on, well, the only way I can get the lid off is bring out the big dog screwdriver because this thing they give you don't work very well anymore. And the can gets kind of messed up, but and they make deals like this. And my wife likes to use these and they actually work pretty good, but you, you put it down on the can and then you can pour it right from the can. And uh, this little spout deal has got a lid. Then it's got a little air, air hole deal on it. Them work great. They make a, a plastic deal that fits down inside your can so you can pour it out like a funnel. But anyway, what I like doing is eventually when I get tired or I see paint is super expensive nowadays, I want to save it because I've cracked into it so many times over the years is I started looking for strainers and I've always just used a plastic strainer and you got to clean it out real good every time. But they make these disposable ones now. I just bought, there's 20 of them in a pack. They come wired together. Breaks down to about 65 cents each, 60, 65 cents each. They work phenomenal. Put it in your can and then pour your paint in here. And they work great for filtering out the paint. But like I said, you can eliminate most of them problems by doing not like I did, and that's keeping the trough, keeping that uh, area right here cleaned out and, and just be a little more careful. But I'd recommend before you put it in the other can to you know write down the, the name of the paint, maybe put a dab on top, write down any kind of numbers you need so you can get more paint made later. But you're all, everybody's gonna end up with extra paint, but eventually you want to eliminate the air that's inside that can. So if there's only a quart of paint in the gallon can, it'd be better off and less air could get to it if you put it inside a quart can. So anyway, that's my little helpful hints, my little uh, things I, I know I should be doing but doesn't, don't do a very good job of it. Because usually when I'm done painting, I'm just, I'm, I'm sick of painting, but uh, most of my projects are little the house it doesn't need isn't due for needing painted for a couple years here. Kids are all gone, bedrooms are repainted. So I probably won't be messing with paint a whole lot. But just little things like that. Keep the trough clean. And if you do need to transfer it, 
You can pick these up. I don't say I'm not saying you got to buy 20 of them. You can even buy little strainers. You can even take a measuring cup and put holes in it, and it'll work as a strainer in there. You can use a, a, a soda bottle. Just put some holes in it so it can strain out. Uh, whatever you got to do, because you'll find there's little chunks of stuff inside that paint. Even the even if after you mix it up, you're gonna find something in there that doesn't belong, and you're gonna wish you would have filtered it out. So anyway, have a good one. I uh, hope that helps you out. Uh, thanks for joining us. Appreciate you stopping by. Bye-bye.